Hello, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial, DB2 Tutorial Part 4. So today in this video I would like to tell you something about the db dml commands. So in my last video I was explaining about the ddl command. So this video would be completely about the dml command. So let's go ahead and start with this. So what are the deep dml commands we have is we will be using is insert, update, delete and select right. So how do we use this and when working on COBOL DB2. So so let's let's know the importance of insert. So insert it is used to insert the rows in your table and one insert command can insert only one row at a time. For a multiple row inserts we we have to use of a perform loop in a COBOL program. So most important point here is number of columns and number of values should be same with the data type. So if if you are having a data type you declare a data type with numeric and if you are trying to pass an alpha numeric uh, values it could it get it gets abandoned so we have to be be cautious in, in this area so so what is the syntax uh, syntax in COBOL so uh, it starts with exec SQL insert into a table name fields and the values right the field uh, the number of fields and the number of values should match so example insert a record into your table name AMP so start with exec SQL insert into AMP AMP number AMP phone I'm checking the two fields, employee number, I'm trying to enter employee number and the employee phone. So that's it and the exec. So update, it is used to update the column values and uh, we use a set keyword to update the columns. Where class is used to for use it for filter rows. So so this will be the syntax, exec SQL, update, table name, where, field name equal to some values and where some condition, you have to use some condition over here. So based on the conditions, it will update the table. So here is an example. I'm trying to update the phone number where the employee ID is 21010. So as the SQL update EMP set EMP phone number equal to this and where employee ID equal to this and and the statements. In the same way, delete it is used to delete rows from the table. So the syntax would be delete from table name where the conditions right. Example is I'm trying to delete an employee number. I mean employee uh, employee record where the employee number is 20101 so delete from table name where EMP number equal to 20101 and index and last and final statement final query is select it is used to retrieve the selected values from the table or all the values from the table so note the important note over here is a simple select can retrieve only one record at a time so if you want to retrieve multiple records at a time so you need to use a concept called cursor so I'll be coming I would be explaining in my further videos about the cursor with it very details and how powerful it is how powerful it will be in the real time the syntax would be exec SQL select feed one field two uh, or you can directly select the star if you want to remove all records from the table name and where conditions so this below is a simple example select uh, exec SQL select the EMP phone from the table name where EMP number equal to it so that's it so these were these were this was about all the DML and its important commands which we will be using using in a COBOL so Thank you for watching this video. I will be coming up with more and more videos. Stay tuned to mainframe tutorials. Have a great and wonderful day.